busy bees. Guess where we're going today? Don't sound so happy. Okay, busy bees. <laughs> where are we going today? Definitely not going to go pick apples and definitely not going to Julian. Ah, Julian. Julian is apple picking town and sometimes snow depending on the time of the year and the season. Uh, Julian is centrally located just about an hour and a half from anywhere in San Diego and has a ton of apple picking features. Again, depending on the season, I think this year is what? How's apple season sounding this year? About four weeks. Four weeks, so kind of short. So maybe this season's not very good. There's a lot of science and weather that goes into good apple picking. Anyways, here's apple picking. Wish us luck, it's gonna be hot. Located on the intersection of the 79 and 78, which is a great halfway point if you're coming up the 67, coming across the 78, or down the 79, is Dudley's Bakery. It's a great little gift shop and bakery with all kinds of fun breads. You can get a sandwich and um, shop all their pastries and delectable treats. We find it's a great stop to grab a pickle, stretch our legs, uh, use the facilities. They have great bathrooms. So after a brief stop at Dudley's Bakery in Santa Isabel, we're back on the 78 and we're going to head down the 78 and make a left on Wainola. Take that all the way down and you'll find a series of apple orchards down this way. Now there's Vulcan Valley Apple Farm and if you look all the way down at the end of the road, there's the Apple Star Orchard. So as you drive down Wainola, you'll come to the intersection of Wainola and Julian Apple Orchard Road. So you turn down and Vulcan's right on the corner uh, make sure you check with the websites and look at their availability hours and prices. Um, Vulcan is a much neater, better kept uh, orchard and they do charge a little bit more. They do have a general admission to get in. Uh, for the 2019 season, it was $2 and they have a nice variety of apples. So if you have kind of rambunctious kids, this might be a good one for you to stop at. We like to go past the winery and sometimes stop. All the way to the end of the road, you'll find the Apple Star Organic Orchard. We like this one. It's a little more rustic and rural. It's a great place to let the kids run around. Um, this time of year it is hot up there so make sure you bring lots of drinks with you. But you'll drive all the way down the dirt road and the um, they have nice roads of apples and the apple orchards they also have a lot of pears um, they do have apple pickers the uh, long picking poles you can use to pick the fruit and they do have some wagons but they are limited and they are on a first come first serve so feel free to bring your own wagon we uh, do like to bring our wagons with us along with props for photos uh, shoots and then we also like to bring a, pic a picnic lunch with us that we used to kind of split the day up. The farm has some very mature trees. It's uh, dirt roads. They do have facilities there. So if your little one needs to use the bathroom, um, there's plenty of facilities for that. Apple Star is cash only, and I'm not sure about Vulcan. So bring cash. Uh, it is a great apple orchard, really fun to walk around. Lots of fun fruit. Uh, apple Star encourages you to sample the fruit before you pick it. So after a hard day of apple picking and picture taking, we'll break for lunch. We'll bring uh, fun little snacks to eat and enjoy in the shade. They do have picnic tables there that are on the rest rustic side. So you can bring a picnic table, eat in your car, or bring a blanket to lay on the grass. Now, no trip to Julian would be complete without stopping by the old town of Julian, which is a mid-1800s mining town. Uh, there's a lot of fun shops here. Our favorite place to hit is Apple Alley Bakery. They have the best apple pies. Yes, we think they're better than Mom's and the Julian Apple Pie Company. Uh, it's a little window. Go in. Our, our favorite's the Apple Boysenberry. And then on the corner there in town is the Miner's Diner. We love going in there for some ice cream. And they have a candy mine in the back. So you go down these stairs into the candy mine. And the kids can grab a little mining bucket and they can mine for gold, uh, excuse me, candy. 
Um, it's a fun little room. There's an earthquake that happens in there every couple of minutes. Uh, just kind of something fun for the kids to go do. And then we come up and we'll either do lunch here and get some burgers and fries if we don't bring a lunch. But this trip we brought a lunch. Or we'll at least get ice cream there. But again, that's the Miner's Diner right there on the corner. Great little spot. All the little shops and restaurants there on Main Street are a lot of fun. Take some time to walk around, check them out. There's the Julian Cider Mill that has a fresh pressed juice and a bunch of nuts and a little uh, assortments of fun little goodies to get. But downtown Julian's a great little stop. So if you're wondering what to do for apple picking, Julian apple picking's a blast. Be sure to check the schedule first and call ahead um, and enjoy a trip to downtown. And that's another adventure with the Busy Bees and we're apple picking.